Good morning. Today is, I think, Tuesday. <laughs> and um, I did my first day of Immunivir yesterday. I took half a pill three times a day. Um, I was not feeling good before I took the pill, which had nothing to do with the pill. Uh, because I was coming off of a semi-crash this past weekend because I house cleaned. Um, I didn't feel a whole lot of anything yesterday other than the normal stuff, except for I did notice I started getting a headache. Uh, I hadn't had headaches in a long time, quite a bit of while. So, um, but then I thought, okay, Francesca, you didn't have cappuccino yesterday morning, which I'm a cappuccino-holic, because my stomach already felt stressed from Sunday, and I didn't want... Um, to upset my stomach. So then I thought, well, maybe it's a caffeine deprivation headache. So in the afternoon, I made myself a cappuccino when I felt like my stomach could handle it to make sure that I wasn't um, mixing up issues. One thing I did do is I have white pomegranate tea, and I decided to start making some tea and drinking tea, even though I'm a cappuccino-holic. Um, let's see. Uh, Yesterday was okay. I was low energy when I woke up, so pretty uneventful. But I will tell you some things happened last night when I was sleeping that were strange, and they're still happening now. And I believe this is a direct correlation to this drug, but that's okay. We're going to stick with it, you know? No wimps allowed here. <laughs> um, it was about 2 o'clock in the morning, and the upper bone in my mouth where my teeth are started throbbing. And uh, the pain was enough that it woke me up. Um, it was 2, 2.30, went back to sleep. And then a little bit later, I noticed that my um, arms started getting that kind of pulsating tension uh, going on. And then... I don't know how much time more went by, and then I felt it was my hips. Um, by the time it was 7 o'clock, 7.15, to get up for my daughter, my sinuses were totally congested, totally full, and the pain had seemed to have come back up and seemed to go across my cheek area with this uh, slight ache. Okay. Um, I did get up today, did not did not have to walk my daughter to school, so that was good. I did take a shower, and um, I made breakfast, had my cappuccino, took all my drugs, including half a pill again today, this morning. I then decided to go look at the symptoms for this drug, because I, I felt really, um, like, dehydrated, massively dehydrated, like... Like, I hadn't even drank in days, and that was kind of weird. And uh, this morning felt a little bit constipated and felt... Uh, well, my stomach wasn't feeling good Sunday before I took the drug, so, I, you know, it's hard to know what to blame on the drug. Um, so let me look at... I made a list because I've got a blog, and I'm trying to, when I can, put things on the blog. So let me see what I said here. Oh, yeah, right. Yesterday I forgot... See, I had um, a headache, vertigo, stomach discomfort, and then there's a word, arthro arthrologia, which means joint pain, and uh, those are possible. Those are the ones I noticed yesterday, and I'm going to keep track of everything. So yesterday was week one, day one. Today is week one, day two. Now, if I go down below, um, I did end up finding this interesting list. It says nausea, with or without vomiting, gastric problems, uh, an increase in uric acid, itching, rashes, headaches, vertigo, fatigue, malaise, joint pain, diarrhea, constipation, nervousness, drowsiness, and insomnia. I definitely had some insomnia, but I don't think the insomnia last night was because of the drug kept me awake. I think the drug gave me pain. Uh, which it did say that you could possibly get joint pain. So, um, I did wake up in a good mood, um, and I am treating myself like a patient in that book that I've been reading, Treat Yourself Like a Patient. So I've got all my 
grocery food, the apartment is cleaned, I got my cleaning products, the only thing I still, Santino went out today, he didn't get it yesterday, but he's getting me meats and vegetables, the house is stocked, I've got people, when possible, dropping my kid off at school and picking her up from school, although today I do have to walk down and get her and several other kids, and hike it back up the hill, and this is the big hill, not the little hill. Uh, so, anyway, I'm optimistic, I'm encouraged, I'm feeling very hopeful, I accept that there is going to be a price to pay for this drug, but if I had kicked it, uh, kicked off the drug less than two months for flu de cortisone, I wouldn't have gotten to a stable point on that drug, which I think now I am stable. I did notice that the swelling has gone down and my ankles have come back because that's a steroid and I was, I'm, I'm self-conscious, I'm vain, that's all there is to it, I'll admit it. Um, and then the Valtrex would have been another one that for the first six weeks, and I had two bouts of when I tried the drug, uh, and again, I'm glad I stuck with it. So I have utmost respect, appreciation, and admiration for Dr. Nancy Klimas and for Dr. Theodore Henderson, who originally diagnosed this illness. So I will keep you up on how it goes, and I'm going to really try to... Uh, to stay on top of it, I put a whole bunch of listings up on my blog, and I think my blog is called uh, www. Period Kaiser K A I S E R M E C F S dot blogspot dot com M E C F S no Kaiser M E C F S dot blogspot dot com and um, it's, all of this is not as organized as I'd like it to be because if I have to wait till I pull it off professionally the way I used to be in my life, it won't happen. So we all know how it is. And uh, I've got some really good things there. I have, I'm going to be keeping a, a log of the medicine, of the, the reactions to this medicine. I've got an older log that shows the progression of my illness and then I cut it off and started, I think with January of this year, started all new again. So you can see from 2002 through 2010, I think, uh, what happened with my illness, and then from 2011 till now, which is when I got diagnosed and I, I've gotten the most aggressive treatment. So I hope that helps you guys. Bye. Have a great day. You know how it is. <laughs> Bye.